Hey y'all, my name is Mare. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the oldest books on my TBR shelf. So these are the books that I have put off reading for the longest. I'm obviously still very excited to read them, otherwise I would not have them on this list, but for some reason that excitement has turned into years of anticipation and just refusing to read them. So I'm hoping by making this video I'll be a little bit more accountable and actually encourage myself to read some of these books. I definitely think that Looking at these books and their synopsises once again has definitely reignited my interest for some of these titles. Some of these I've realized maybe I don't want to read anymore, but this without further ado is the five oldest books on my TBR. Starting in at number one is actually Crown of Feathers. So this is a YA fantasy series. There's three books. As far as I know, the series is complete. We love that because then I can just binge them when the time finally comes to read it. But this one follows Phoenix Riders. This book originally sparked my interest because of M from M Reads Romance and formerly of Bookish Potatoes. I love M. She told me that she loved this series and she thought that I would really like it so I was like I'm immediately sold. I will read this one day and one day has turned into years from then <laughs> which is embarrassing but like I'm hoping that by talking about this now I'll want to actually start this one. Crown of Feathers has this world where in the past there was this league of phoenix writers and that has actually gone away now it's not the same as it was and now after the war there's this orphan who's like I really want to be a phoenix writer I want to bring this dream back to life but in order to do so she has to infiltrate the ranks of the male phoenix writers and um be a girl boss essentially so it definitely sounds like it will have some tropes that I like I love a good hidden identity moment I love the whole underdog coming into this uprising sort of situation and I love the idea of phoenix writers hello this sounds phenomenal definitely want to read it soon do I though because it's been on my TV for two years but like also yes I do <laughs> The next book that I actually cannot believe that is still on my TBR is Brit Marie Was Here by Frederick Bachman. Now if you guys have watched my channel before or if you are friends with me or if you know anything about me, I do not shut up about Frederick Bachman, okay? I love his books. He wrote Bear Town and he wrote Anxious People, two of my favorite books of all time. I've read pretty much his entire discography. Does it still work when it's like an author? I've read his entire backlist except for his newest Bear Town book because it just came out like a month ago and Burmary was here apparently and I don't know why this one hasn't gravitated my interest as much. I think based on the synopsis like it definitely should because it sounds like your classic Frederick Bachman novel but I just haven't picked this up for some reason so maybe it's because I'm not in the mood for emotional trauma which I know Frederick Bachman is going to give me but like why haven't I read this this is this is absolutely nuts that I haven't read this yet but this one follows a woman named Brit Marie she is a little bit older and she's very set in her ways she does not like clutter she likes things tidy she likes things done her way okay and you know what Brit Marie I get it. I truly understand you. Britt Marie has always felt like she doesn't really belong and after a situation with her husband, situation being uh, he cheated on her and she whacks out, she finds herself as a caretaker for a recreation center I believe. Yeah, it looks like a recreation center that's soon to be demolished. So she finds herself in a situation where she's trying to save this recreation center and to also find her place in the world. And this one just sounds very heartwarming about like a grumpy older woman and I love that like I want to know more about Brit Marie so you know what talking about this now I'm kind of like should I should I pick her up right now should I just let me just end this vlog right now just kidding we are going to talk about the third book that is the oldest on my TBR and one that I I just like almost knocked my ornaments off my tree sorry guys this book is one that I have considered taking off my TBR and frankly just unhauling <laughs> but the reason I haven't done it yet is because I do own it, okay? And that is A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. This is the sequel to From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, which follows a maiden named Poppy, who is sort of this chosen one, holy figure, and her destiny is pretty much set up for her, and she doesn't like that. So she does something about it when she meets this hot, mysterious guy named Hawk, and um, 
things happen okay like I I read from blood mash I enjoyed it did I think it was a little lengthy yeah like this book could definitely murder someone and the first book is no different it is so long I actually apparently started this book because I have some tabs on the side that's interesting um I don't remember reading it at all so I don't I don't know if I want to read this one just because I read from blood Nash so long ago and I liked it enough but then I think about diving into this world and reading all of these chunky books about characters that I felt very lukewarm about and I'm like mm, do I do I really want to do that but I'm definitely going to leave this book on my TBR shelf for now since I do own it and I think that if I don't read it by this time in 2023 she's going okay because at that point I'm never gonna read her another book that I am absolutely shocked that I have not read which you know all these books are shocking that I have not read them because they've been on my TBR for so long and I've talked about them in so many TBR videos and I'm always like you know what I'm gonna read this and then I never do yeah one of those is uh the gilded wolves guys I really I really want to like this I really think I will like this but I think it's the anticipation of knowing I'm going to enjoy this so much that makes me not want to read this so <laughs> I think that's a very like twisted thing like I think I'm gonna like this book so much that I don't ever want to read it because like what if it changes my whole world and then I don't find anything that I'm gonna like as much but like that's my logic here okay so this book is pitched as six of crows meets the last magician and if you know me those are two polarizing book titles okay because I love the last magician six of crows we have beef okay because i like six of crows enough and then i read crooked kingdom and i hated every page of it and i reread those books okay so i made sure that i did not like them and i i did not like them okay i wish i had loved it but i liked some of the elements of it right like i like the found family i like this heist mission and i like the aspect of like historical fantasy so in theory this could be a moment right but i'm just really scared to read it because i'm hoping it doesn't let me down i don't know why it would let me down but like i'm just worried it might okay gilded wolves follows a band of six different characters who have to go on this heist mission together so basically six of crows right it takes place in 1889 paris so you have this historical element to it and supposedly the characters in this book might change the course of history with their heist mission so i'm super intrigued by this will I read it soon god I hope so god I hope so the last book that is the oldest on my TBR I'm gonna be brief with because she's made quite a few appearances on my channel throughout the years because uh that's how long she's been on my TBR okay and that is the final empire by Brandon Sanderson this is actually one of my end of 2022 TBR books that I want to read I think it's an ambitious goal but I'm going to try to start it okay like that's my number one goal is just to read a couple chapters and hopefully fall in love with Brandon Sanderson in this next coming year but the final empire follows an underdog sort of character who has to hone in on her magical abilities proposes a question like what would happen if the prophesized hero is actually not the chosen one it just sounds interesting right like i'm i'm excited about this but like guys you understand why i haven't read it right you understand so yeah that is the uh five oldest books on my tbr wish me luck in conquering this journey i think i might start the gilded wolves like i think i gaslit myself into wanting to read that right now but also Bert murray was here like all these books sound so interesting right there's a reason they have stuck on my tbr shelf for two years because these were all the books that i started with on my new goodreads account when i created my youtube channel these are the ones that made it on the top of the list and that i was super excited about in the moment and then i just haven't gotten to but like I'm really hopeful that I'll get to because I also kind of wanted to talk about something that will be happening in December which is vlogmas so hopefully I'll be able to read these books within that span of time because I'm gonna be participating in vlogmas probably like cross your fingers that this is gonna happen but I am really excited to share that I will be doing a Mayor Reads Christmas get it like Merry Christmas but like Mayor Reads I thought it was cute so I've thought about this a lot and thinking of how do I want to do it right because a lot of people will do vlogmas and they'll post videos every single day and I have so much admiration for people who can do that that will not be coming with Mary's Christmas okay we will be doing 
probably four vlogs, right? We're gonna do weekly vlogs, but the goal is to vlog every single day. That's something I haven't been doing, and something that I really miss is vlogging as much as I used to. I used to be so dedicated to this channel, and that's not me saying that I'm not. I just think I've evolved as a person and as a reader, and it's not something that I put as much prioritization towards anymore, and that really bums me out because I love reading and I love creating content. It's just hard for me to kind of find that happy balance where I'm loving what I'm reading and I'm loving the content that I'm producing because I feel like I have all these ideas and then the books that I want to read for them are like either really bad or the content idea is really good but like it's like you want to read books that make you happy right because the whole point of being on booktube is to share your love of reading but i also just love creating content and love creating cool content so i think to find that middle ground for vlogmas i have a lot of fun things that i want to do i live in the florida area <laughs> the state of Florida and I go to Disney a lot so we're gonna have some Disney World related content we're gonna do festival of the holidays we're gonna try lots of different yummy foods we're going to go to Universal we're gonna do Grinchmas which is how the Grinch stole Christmas but like thrown up at Universal Studios we're gonna go look at holiday lights we're gonna make gingerbread houses we're gonna bake some cookies like I have a ton of holiday content that I really want to share with you guys and reading is gonna come with that so hopefully these books will be a priority for vlogmas but yeah expect four videos maybe more this is becoming really unhinged and very winded thank you guys for watching this video let me know if you are going to be participating in vlogmas what are your favorite vlogmas channels what are your oldest books on the tbr what books out of this list do you think i would like the most what do i need to make my priority this year but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye y'all